podcast. Hi everyone, it's Sonia here. I'm here to give you another update on my progress with the keto and the intermittent fasting. And um, if you're wondering why I'm dressed like this, it's because I'm actually wearing a bikini. <laughs> because you guys had said, hey Sonia, are you going to show us your results in a bikini? And I said yes. So I guess now I have to do it. So today I'm going to show you. Actually, I'm kind of excited because, uh, you know, with the weight loss, I, I kind of treated myself to some new bikinis from Arden. I got three of them. So, you know, I'll, I'll show you the bikinis while I'm at it. Um, so today I want to give you like a rundown on the progress, how, how I got going with the keto, you know, how fast the progress was and some hurdles and trouble spots that I hit and uh, also things that I found that helped. So first of all, to start, I started on the 3rd of March this year. I was actually quite frustrated at that point. I had been gaining one or two pounds every month for several months. And it seemed like no matter what I did, the weight just kept coming on and it was mostly coming on my belly. So I started the keto and my starting weight was 147 pounds. Um, it was a slow start. I'll tell you, like, for the first two or three months, I really was feeling like, is this even going to work? My friends were having these great results, and I was doing the same thing, and it was just so slow, you know? And, you know, I just kind of kept with it. I had bought a whole bunch of keto foods, you may remember. Some of them were from Ketoteria in Westmount. And, I mean, that was helpful, but it, it was a question of finding what works for me and changing my habits one of the most helpful things for me actually was using cauliflower rice with my dinner. So in the first couple of months there, you know, I lost, I don't know, two or three pounds. Um, I kept at it. I lost a couple more. So I had lost about five pounds. And um, then I started adding intermittent fasting because I realized that probably my problem had to do with um, insulin resistance. Because I, I was doing the keto, but I was feeling very tired and I was um, still feeling hungry a lot of the time and uh, I you know I talked about this in my other video so I won't go over the whole thing so I started the intermittent fasting and once I started that in June between June and July I lost about another three pounds so I I'm gonna tell you like how that went how, with the fasting because I, I have definitely had some ups and downs but um, before I get into that a lot of you guys have asked me about my skin because I'm 50 years old um, there's no filter on the camera and I want to show you like my skin it's crazy how smooth it is I mean yes I have bags like I've always had and yes you know like I don't have all the muscle tone that I had when I was younger but look how crazy smooth my skin is um, you guys have asked me like what do I do for my skin to keep it so smooth um, I, I have a couple products that I've been using for a while, but I added this recently. Actually, I've been doing this for like a year now. Uh, well, on and off. And this is called Ageless Glow from Biotrust also. And this one also really kicked this business up a notch. I mean, since I added this, I can't believe like how smooth my skin has gotten. You guys have even commented. You're like, Sonia, are you getting younger? <laughs> you know, uh, this stuff, it's, it's a serum with hyaluronic acid that really penetrates the skin. Plus it has botanical extracts that help firm it. Uh, my experience with it, it really does work. The thing is, they're doing also a giveaway. So if you're curious about it, you don't wanna spend money on a whole bottle, um, you can get a half size bottle free. It's just shipping and handling. No catch, no like membership, sign up, nothing. You guys can try this stuff for yourself. Anyway, I'm going to leave you the link below. So let's talk more about the keto. Uh, and then I'm going to show you my bikini parade. So I had some issues um, with the intermittent fasting. So like I said in my other video, when I first shifted over to fasting, the first four days were very hard. Basically, I felt really depressed. I felt I had very low mood. After four days, that lifted. Then I went through several days of really bad anxiety. It was crazy. It was just like, I wasn't thinking anything to make me anxious, but I felt like, like my nervous system was completely shot. Anyway, that lasted for a few days, maybe not quite a week. And then it just disappeared. It disappeared as mysteriously as it came. 
I was actually just sitting here at my computer and all of a sudden it's like I felt it lift off. So I don't know what that was about, depression and then anxiety. I'm thinking maybe it had something to do with my body detoxing or adjusting to the fasting. I don't really know. If you know, like if you have any insights, let me know because I'm still curious. So after that, I felt pretty good. I had, I started having actually a lot more energy than I usually do. I started feeling like I had more mental clarity. I just felt more present. I felt better all around. Um, but then July 1st to July 11th, I had a new problem. So whereas before my problem was that I had no energy, <laughs> this is so weird. I got on the fasting and I started to like find it was harder and harder to eat. It was like the fasting was making me lose my appetite. And I've heard other people say that your body starts feeding on itself. You lose your appetite. I did not want to under eat because I don't want to ruin my metabolism, but it started to get hard to finish my food. Like I just have coffee with a little bit of cream for breakfast. I have a salad or a sandwich at lunch that I could eat. No snacks in between. Dinner was like meat and vegetables. Usually I do a lot of Asian cooking. And suddenly I found that it was like I had to force myself. And I had added a keto dessert every day after dinner to make sure I don't want to eat during the night. But even my like brownie with keto ice cream, I had to like force myself. And it, it got harder and harder to eat. And then I started to feel like I was running on adrenaline. I what happened next was I like lost my ability to fall asleep. Once I was asleep, I could sleep, but falling asleep became really difficult. Like it used to be for me in the, like years ago, uh, basically before I started taking the C60, which by the way, I have run out of. So that might be a factor because the C60 just nixed my sleep problem. Um, I ran out of C60 because I found that, okay, it's a bit of a tangent, but I'll tell you. I found that with the C60, I could take like a half a teaspoon a day for like several weeks. And then if I laid off it for a while, actually my sleep was still okay. I ran out and I went like a whole month without it. And then my sleep problems came back. And at first I thought maybe it's because I ran out of C60. Uh, then I started wondering if the fasting like had something to do with it because I would lie down and I would start getting these like, bursts of adrenaline. This happened during the week that my son was at camp and I was working really hard on my bit shoot channel, which if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'll give you the link. Um, maybe I was just too excited about working on bit shoot. So I was like, maybe kind of high on this like new thing that I was doing and just feeling like I'd been let out of prison. I could speak freely. Um, maybe it was that, but whatever it was, I was so buzzed out. Um, and then I would go to bed and I just couldn't sleep. And this went on and on and on. I had like 10 days in a row where I was falling asleep at like five, six, seven, eight in the morning. I was taking all kinds of herbal remedies. Nothing was working. So what I did was I went to Ketoteria and I got all these yummy keto foods like fat bombs. I've got a nice keto dinner with chicken something for tonight. Um, and I got the keto bagels and I'm trying to add foods in the day that I really like to, to like, in, can you believe it? I'm trying to increase my food intake. Like that sounds ridiculous, but I, I know that I have to. So the keto, basically the keto and the fasting worked so well that I, I no longer wanted to eat, you know? So now I'm, I'm trying to increase the food to make sure that I don't destroy my metabolism. And, and so, you know, I'm tweaking it, but I mean, I certainly like don't have any problem overeating or not eating keto foods, you know, like I haven't eaten carbs in a long time. So whatever it is that happens, I'm not giving up. I'm getting weight loss results and I'm just trying to make sure to carefully balance things so that I don't run on fumes. I don't burn myself out. I don't under eat and, and I, and I keep eating healthy foods. So right now I feel good. My sleep is okay now. Like, I mean, it's possible that the insomnia was also part of like some kind of a detox. I really don't know, but whatever it is, it's over now. Okay. So the results, I have uh, lost about eight or nine pounds at this point, depending on, you know, which day. So I started at 147. So I'll be between 138 and 139 now, which for me, it's like, wow, I haven't been under 40 in a long time. Really happy about that. So I'm going to show you now. Actually, wait, before I show you me in the bikini, 
I want to show you some pictures of my fat belly before and after. Th these are not very nice pictures. You know, I'm not very good at like doing the before and after thing for some reason. I don't know. I should be, it shouldn't be so hard, but anyway. This one on the, the left, this is me in March. So like most of my fat was on my belly. It was very stubborn and it was very hard to get rid of. The one on the right is me in July. So you can see that a lot of fat like just melted right off my belly. So this, this thing is really working. That's why I want to stick to it even if I have some ups and downs. Uh, that's a lot of belly fat loss. So now I'm going to show you my bikini. My nice bikinis from Arden. I love the tropical prints. Okay, so this is the first one. I mean, look, you know, I've had a baby, so I'm not going to have like a perfectly toned stomach. It's always been a little bit like this, you know, probably just from having a kid. But I feel like it's really come in a lot on the sides. Do you guys want to see from behind? Actually, I feel like my butt has gotten a little bit flatter. I'm not super thrilled. I want my, I want to have a big butt. I think that to boost my butt and get it bigger again, um, I would have to start lifting weights again or doing squats. So I'll give you an update on that when I get that going. Let me just tell you though, I love this bikini because it's really solid up here. So if you're wearing it and you, you know, like you're doing some activity in the water, you don't have to worry about things falling out. You know, that's what's really great about this. Okay, I do have some like sun tanning bikinis. I'm going to show you those too. Beautiful tropical print. I, I really love this one. I love these like tropical prints so much. It just feels so vacation, even if I'm not going anywhere. Oh, there, the colors are better. Colors are better when I'm a little closer. How's that? Oh, yeah, I'm not wearing my wig today because uh, I didn't want it to like cover the swimsuits. Okay, so this is my third one. This one has hibiscus on it. I want you to see the colors because like when I'm too far away, you can't you can't see it too well. Whoa, look at that. Oh my God. So tropical, so colorful, like, like luscious colors, you know? So I love this one so much. And, uh, and now I'm not going to be shy to wear it. My belly's a little flatter. Not that, you know, it has to be perfect. I mean, I'm just mom here. I'm not some Instagram model. But, like, I feel pretty good like this. I'm really happy with these. They're so cute. Can you guys believe? Look how much it, like, it came in here on the side. It's like this fat pad here. It's just going, it's just shrinking this way. I wonder how it's going to be, like, six months down the road. Maybe, like, will I ever be able to lose this? I don't know, but I'll see. Okay, guys, so that's it. My son is yelling on the PlayStation. I mean, that's my update. I hope that that's helpful information to you. I mean, the bottom line is it's, I've been doing this since March. It's been slow. I've been sticking to it. I've had some ups and downs, mostly like on the mental health end and sometimes the hunger end. Um, but, uh, but I'm getting results. And, and whatever problems come up, eventually I do find solutions to them. So that's it. And uh, I hope you like that update. And I hope you like my bikinis. Oh, yeah. Thanks for hitting like. Don't forget to sub to my bitch shoot. And thanks for checking out the links for the BioTrust for your gut health. And, oh, yes. Don't forget to check. Whoops. Don't forget to check this one out. I love this for my skin. So, um, you know, that's it. Thanks so much for joining me and for joining me in the live chat. And, uh, yeah, thanks for listening to me. And I'll see you next time.